So what exactly is compatibility mode? IE9 is barely a week and a half old and I've already gotten a lot of people asking me questions about this very subject. They'll come to me and say, Bill, there's a website that I went to. I used to go there all the time, never had a problem viewing it. Suddenly, everything looks different. Perhaps menus are in a different place. It's just not rendering correctly. That may be because that website was designed with older browsers in mind. The technology behind it, the coding was designed with maybe Internet Explorer 7 or 8 or perhaps even an older browser or a different brand of browser. Internet Explorer 9 solves that or attempts to solve that with the compatibility view. It is a way to go ahead and make pages that were designed with older browsers in mind render the correct way in Internet Explorer 9. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. We're going to go to a website and you're going to see up here in right next to our little refresh button. You can see on my search and address bar here. A little symbol that looks like a torn piece of paper. Let's go ahead and let's get to this site. Now watch what happens here. So far everything looks okay. It's loading up and we get this. And you're saying, well, that looks okay, Bill. That doesn't seem that odd. Maybe it's just not making the best use of the entire screen, but so what? Look up here. You see the little symbol? That's what I was talking about. Notice how it's grayed out. Now watch what happens when I click on it. See, it's compatibility view websites designed for older browsing will often look better and problems such as out of place menus, images, or text will be corrected. Watch what happens when I click on this. The page is going to reload. Well, right away, we see that this is in a different place. See that? That's a big difference, isn't it? That's because this site has not been updated to make full use of all of the rendering capabilities of IE9. So we have the compatibility view to go ahead and correct that. So if you've ever gone into a web page and you see this here and you suspect that things aren't necessarily showing up the way they're intended to, give that a click. And it's going to remember that you want to view this web page in that compatibility mode so that every time you come back to this web page, it'll already be turned on. The compatibility view will already be turned on for you. So that's how you use the compatibility view. Another way you can go ahead and check if it's on is click here on tools. See, compatibility view has got the big check mark there. And if I click on my settings, you'll see that I have a number of pages that are already been added to my compatibility view. So when I come back to them, I won't have any issues. That's it for compatibility view. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.